Hello and welcome to Scientifically Speaking. Today we're talking about evolution, adaptation and the human resonances and the magnetic field, which of course the human resonances are directly linked to the incoming and outgoing energy uh, in the magnetic field. Now back on June 9th, um, I stated that evolution adaptation was linked to the human resonances and it is now being observed. Uh, then I made a second video on July 26th uh, using uh, Michael Clarage's video from the Thunderbolts group, uh, the Thunderbolts project, and uh, the Schumann frequency directly linked to plant change. Now, this was just coming from word of mouth from people saying they'd seen various insects, bugs, plants, things that were different that they'd never seen before. Uh, plenty of thumbs up on all that. But today, we're going to go to uh, Suspicious Observers, and we're going to listen now to what they say about the magnetic field and what's happening with evolution adaptation. They don't state evolution adaptation. Let's have a listen to what they do say and see whether or not it seems like I was correct when I said because the magnetic, f uh, the magnetic field is changing and is going to change, after the sun goes supernova and the Earth's EM field turns off, when it comes back on again, it's going to be at a different frequency. The Schumann will be at a different frequency. And this, of course, will uh, develop new plants and new animals, as it has done in the last five extinctions. Because there's a new Schumann frequency, people change. We go from looking like Neanderthals to what we look like. And differences in animals come up. So I said that the magnetic field and the human frequencies were directly linked to evolution adaptation because, well, you'd have to watch the other two videos. Let's see what they say now. And, la and last but not least, not the first time we've seen it, but perhaps the most level-headed. We spend a lot of time considering how the ongoing geomagnetic changes will affect animals, will affect us, but it will also affect the plants. Cellular production, division, performance, leaf respiration, ion exchanges, some plants may have a better time than others, but all will be affected to some degree and already are being affected by the changing magnetic state of our planet. Pieces of the base of the food chain are as vulnerable as the rest of us. We greatly appreciate... Now, I do hope everybody remembers I said that energy levels will change so that things like viruses get piles of energy now and things like rabbits don't. I mean, that's a silly example, but that's what I stated. I said the energy levels will change and so some things will thrive and some will die. So there we go. In my previous videos, I stated that all of this would start happening before the sun goes micronova and the earth changes its rotation by changing its field. But first the field has to collapse, then reorientate itself. So yeah, I basically said that we would start to see all this in the run up. People talk about the human spiking and all that kind of thing. Well, this is the effects of all this happening. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. And the things that I say uh, end up being true. Thanks very much.